Welcome to Discover Indie Film. I'm your host, Jeff Howard, and today Alana de Freitas is going to answer the Discover Indie Film four questions, which are favorite films, an underrated film, an overrated film, and a lesser known film that people should seek out. Hi, Alana. Hi. <laughs> and uh, I should also mention that Alana's film, Nancy, uh, an award winning short film that she made that was at the Sherman Oaks Film Festival in 2019, is in the Discovery Indie Film TV series, season four, episode two. It is a superb film, and it's actually in an episode with another superb film. But then again, all the Discovery Indie Film <laughs> short films are superb. So, you know, I guess keep throwing out these adjectives. <laughs> but uh, please, uh, if we want to just jump right into it, Alana, do you want to name your your three favorites? And if you need to go four or five, um, no rules against it. But my my favorite films. There's probably like twenty films in my top five. <laughs> but um, uh, Gone Baby Gone, Blue Valentine, and Mystic River. Let's go with those for my top three. Oh, like great, depressing, uplifting films. <laughs> I was going to say that is a serious list. Yeah. Not a lot of joy in those. Of like what my personality is. <laughs> <laughs> or at least you're, you're, uh, you're and, and also though, those films all feature just such powerful performances. Right. Yeah. I love something that will make you feel that like a good punch in the guts is what I'm after when I, when I want entertainment. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. And all really well directed films too, obviously mm-hmm. from, people I'd almost call auteurs. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. All right. Well, that was quick. I don't know if you want to elaborate on, on any of them. No, that's fine. Nah, no need. Well, <laughs> then we can go jump right into underrated. Okay. Um, a film that I think is underrated and, and this, you know, I'm going to say E.T. And I know like it's such a, a well-known film and, and everybody loves it, but I'm saying that it's underrated because I think people think of it as like a kid's movie. And that movie is just so amazing on every level. And I think if you watched it now, maybe the only criticism that you would have is that like, you know, the, the, the effects are dated, but like the emotion, the story. I mean, I challenge someone not to cry in that film. So that's what I'm going to go with E.T. <laughs> it's a very good pick. And I think, I think you're absolutely right. People see it as a family yeah. film uh-huh. and it's much more than that. Right. All right. Well, now I'm very curious to hear your overrated. <laughs> okay. Uh, unpopular opinion. Overrated film, <laughs> Nomadland. I enjoyed it, but I nothing really happened. So um, I'm going to lead into uh, a lesser known film that I think people should seek out. And this is the reason why I think Nomadland is overrated because the writer, Chloe Zhao's film prior to Nomadland is phenomenal. Like I cannot speak more highly of a film. I will say the first, uh, like 10 minutes, I was kind of like, what is this? Um, but by the end of it, I was like, this is superb. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, I definitely would recommend anybody if you want to seek out a lesser known film, the writer. And also, um, I will say nine days was a beautiful little independent film that was at Sundance this year. And, uh, this sounds really cheesy and cliche, but it genuinely is something it's, it's quite artsy, but it's a film that will make you want to stop and smell the roses. It, it makes you appreciate the really little things about everything day life which is not typical for me to, to like you know when i've listed my three favorite films and they're all miserable um yeah this this was a, a very beautiful little heartfelt film that's nice that shows your balance <laughs> and, and i want to i want to back you up on nomad land because i i every year you know for oscar <laughs> pools and whatnot i make a point of watching everything nominated so now it's nine and uh nomad land is very good and yeah. it's nowhere near a best picture of the year. Right. It just isn't. There was there were some other films that absolutely slayed me. And then when Nomadland won, I thought, 
Is it just because of Francis? I don't know. It's amazing. Anything she touches is amazing. And it was like, visually it was gorgeous, but I just kind of was like, you know, uh, it was narratively Spartan for me. Yeah. But even then I, sometimes I can, I can love a film that's light on story, but I just thought it was yeah, slow. good. Very it, was, slow. it was good. Yeah. It's, it's a shame when best picture of the year is just good. Yeah. So I'll back you up there. It's one that like struggled to keep my attention. You know, I did, I did keep looking at my phone and it wasn't until maybe three quarters of the way through that I was like, all right, okay, now I'm invested and I want to see what happens here. And then I was like, and still nothing happened there. <laughs> it was. And if it had been, uh, and if it hadn't even been nominated, it could be flipped around, right? And it could be. Oh my God, there's this film you got to seek out. Not a lot happens, but it shows a part of life that no one's aware of. Just seek this thing out. But for some reason, I don't know, I guess maybe it was COVID meant there was so few big films released that. I have no idea. I have no idea what happened there, but, and, and I always point out that saying something's overrated doesn't mean it's not a good film. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So if you're a filmmaker and for anyone who's an aspiring filmmaker, getting anything made is a miracle and you should be proud simply on that. Uh, so, you know, and that they did a film with such an amazing actress that looks so amazing, like good for them. It's by no stretch a bad film, but just in comparison to the writer, which not many people seem to know about, which was phenomenal in my opinion, that's what made me feel like, Oh, really? Like, this is the one we're jumping up and down about? So, yeah. It's so interesting. And I don't even know if the people who voted for Nomadland knew about the writer, but it does make me think of all the films that have won big awards. And it was the film before that was truly great. And yeah. then, or it's, you know, Pacino doesn't win Best Actor for years and years, and then he gets it for Dick Tracy. Like, <laughs> sure. what are you going to do? Oscars are funny. <laughs> Well, that was a very good list for the four questions and I'll do the house cleaning wrap up thing again. Okay. I don't know if you want to go first and mention your stuff, uh, your, your, your website and social media up to you. Yeah. Do it again before, before I go on my spiel. So it's people don't have to wait through me to hear you. Um, yeah, if you want to check out any of my projects, you can, uh, follow me on Instagram. It's at Alana underscore Defreitas. That's A-L-A-N-A underscore D-E-F-R-E-I-T-A-S. Um, and yeah, you'll be able to find my business account from there, ADF Productions. You'll be able to find the account for Before the Dawn, all of that stuff you'll be able to find from my page and links to my websites and all that good stuff. Excellent. And if you want to see good stuff, you should watch Alana's film, Nancy, which is also a lesser known film that people should seek out. Uh, and it's on, it's in the Discovery Indie Film TV series on Amazon Prime Video. So just go to Prime Video, search for Discovery Indie Film. Her film is in season four, episode two. All four seasons are the best short films from the festival circuit, handpicked for, for the audience. And you can learn more. Uh, it's at DIF Wins on social media, DIF Wins. And discoverindiefilm.com is the website. And the film festivals that I met Alana through, the Sherman Oaks Film Festivals every November, and that's shermanoaksff.com or at shermanoaksff on social media. And in June is Film Invasion LA, film, filminvasionla.com or at filminvasionla on social media. And I think that's all I had to say. Thank you, Alana, for doing this. Thank you for having me. And thank you for having Nancy be a part of the Discovery Indie Film family. It's uh, it's just uh, rewarding for me that it's all these great films that have been at the festivals end up bringing their strengths together in this series. Yeah, no, we're so excited to be part of it. Thank you. And thank you. And thanks, everyone, for listening. Yeah.